Hello and welcome to the episode 237 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we'll talk about the first riverboat shuffle, a curious accident involving a helicopter and the end of the work on Abbey Road, among other things. 25th of August 1960, the Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed one more night at the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany, for their ongoing first residency in town. One year later, in 1961, the Beatles, now a quartet with Paul McCartney on bass, performed twice in the same day, with a lunchtime gig at the Cavern Club in Liverpool and an evening night on the Mercy River, on board of the Royal Iris. It was the first riverboat shuffle, organized by Cavern Club owner Ray McFall, a cruise on the Mercy featuring rock and roll and traditional jazz dance bands for the paying customers. The Beatles were second on the bill with trad jazz hero Acker Bilk, a clarinetist, and his Paramount Jazz Band on the top spot. The cruise lasted for 3 hours and 15 minutes, with Bilk catering to the older audience and the Beatles keeping younger feet dancing. It was a successful idea that brought in enough money to deserve further exploration in 1962, like we saw in episode 187 and 222, and we'll see in episode 271. Talking about 1962, on this date, the Beatles performed at the Marine Hall Ballroom in Fleetwood, England. Fun fact, Fleetwood was one of the places that John Lennon visited during his childhood holidays, staying with a cousin in town. In 1963, the Beatles returned to the ABC Theatre in Blackpool for the fourth time from the beginning of the 1963 summer season. The show was memorable because of a silent 3-minute 8mm film taken during the evening, which resurfaced in a 2015 online action. The film is considered to be the earliest color footage of the Fabs. In 1964, the Beatles had their last day off in Bel Air. They visited Bart Lancaster at his house, where they watched Peter Sellers' A Shot in the Dark. After that, the four went to the Whiskey A Go Go, invited by actress Jane Mansfield. Mansfield tricked them into thinking this was going to be a low profile affair, while, in fact, as soon as they were at the club, she alerted the press and hordes of paparazzi popped up taking pictures of the party. Another day off in Los Angeles in 1965 the third in a row during the Beatles' second North American tour. During the afternoon, two girls jump off a hired helicopter into the Beatles' pool. The direct result was that the space above the villa became a no-flying zone for order of the Los Angeles Police Department. In 1966, the Beatles flew to Seattle, Washington, catching a 10 a.m. plane from Los Angeles. The band was to perform a 3 p.m. and an 8 p.m. show at the Coliseum. For the afternoon concert, only 8,000 tickets were sold for the 15,000 seats, while the evening concert was sold out. After the second show, at 11 p.m., the band caught a plane back to Los Angeles, California. On the 25th of August 1967, the Beatles reached Bangor, Wales, to study transcendental meditation with Maharishi Mahesh Yogi for 10 days. The four were accompanied by Cynthia Lennon, Patty Harrison, Jenny Boyd, Alexis Mardas, Mick Jagger and Marianne Faithful. Finally, in 1969, we get the final studio session for Abbey Road. Working from 2.30 to 8.00 pm at the EMI Studios, Maxwell's Silver Hammer was edited so that the original introduction was removed. Similarly, the end was edited down from 2 minutes 41 seconds to 2 minutes 5 seconds. Sound effects were recorded, applied and then removed from the start of Maxwell's Silver Hammer. 
Before the end of the session, a final master tape of the album was created, along with a copy that engineer Jeff Emmerich gave to Apple for the disc to be cut. Before closing the episode, let me ask you once again to please visit www.simonmas.com support to see how you can help our little community to grow and, perhaps, to share your thoughts about this podcast with me, especially the things that you like and that I could keep in future music-related content. Thank you, and see you tomorrow for a star meeting in Portsmouth. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.